Okay, this video is for Lima Alpha Brian in Louisiana. And look at my new business cards I made up. How about that? Yeah. Okay, here it is. Light's a little bright for the camera. But that's your status light. That's your brake. That means it's lit up. The brake is released. Like right there. And that's your brake delay. And then the brake just snapped back in. That means it's turning clockwise. That means it's turning counterclockwise. <clears throat> okay, I'll show you the operation. I'm going to go in here and open up. That's my grandson, by the way. I'm going to find rotor or ham radio <clears throat> deluxe. It's going to be a drop down for rotator. And while that's opening up, I'm going to open up the log book. Ah, come on. And there is logbook. I want those both open up. <clears throat> okay, here's the rotator. Come on, rest of you, fire up. That's where I'm at right there, the house. Put your GPS in for that. And then, uh, tells you where you're at computer's got to know where you live at oh well, come on just fire this thing up oh, there we go okay got to have the rotator set for item press I'm on comp 6 on my computer refresh rate 1 and it is north pointing. <clears throat> if you had a south pointing, you click on that and click on south. But we're north pointing. I got to figure out where. Uh, come on, get out of there. Where you set your GPS at. Come on, computer. Well, anyway, while that's thinking, I'm going to show you the operation of it. There's the brake release. Turning counterclockwise. And this is manual mode. So you can turn right around and click on <clears throat> clockwise. And now it's turning clockwise. Okay, now let that brake delay kick back in. Now, our rotor is pointing that way. I'm going to point it right to north. This is the point and shoot. Hit the brake release. It does a backstroke. You see that light come on? And now it's turning clockwise. It's going to turn to where it wants to go and then stop. Now, once that light goes out, now I can turn it the other way. Now, I'm going to point it at that light down there. You see that little light right there changes. See, it does a little backstroke. That's to release the brake on a tail twister. Sometimes they jam. Okay. But that's the point and shoot part. Now, one thing that's very important is when you go over there and you take it all the way to one side, <clears throat> I'll show you something. It's going to stop a little bit before it gets all the way south. Just a little bit. Okay. Now, if I turn it the other way just a little bit, it's still got room to do a backstroke. I manually turn it all the way to the stop it'll quit 
<clears throat> it'll quit turning. But in the tail twister, watch what happens. I move it just a little bit. The light comes on, but it didn't turn. It's up against the stop, so it doesn't have a backstroke. And with those tail twister rotors, there can be pressure on that wedge. And if it's cranked all the way over, it won't do that little backstroke and release that brake. Okay, we're done over here. Well, we're still thinking. Well, wait for program to respond. I might have to close this back out. Let's see if I can click on the uh, rotator right up there and it'll work. No. Oh, crud. Joys of having a older computer doing this. I just closed the program. I reopen it. Wish I had a decent laptop I could hook this shit all up to. Without having to fire this hog up every time I want to use it. Okay. Well, anyway, somewhere up here in the tools. It, there'll be a spot where you can put your location. I uh, can't remember where it's at. I did it one time. Now I can't remember where it was. I'm going to show you where that's at. But Anyway, I'm going to connect to it. Okay, you see the little arrow right there. That means I'm pointing down this way. Let's say I want to go to Australia. Double click it. Does its little backstroke. That's going to go right up there to where I clicked on it. Or close to it. See? Now, what Brian, what I was telling you about the south pointing, if it was south pointing, I could go over here and click over here in South America. And the rotor would turn right over to there. But watch what happens since it's north pointing. Does this little backstroke. It knows it has to swing all the way around to get to South America. Once it gets straight up and down, it's going to shoot right over the pole. Brake is still released. There it went. You heard it. Okay, if you've got it set up in your logbook, all you do is go over here. Wait a minute. I've got to connect to that. There we go. I can click on the little compass up there and make it move just one click. And it'll do the same thing. You don't know where it's pointing at because you didn't do it on the map. But you can control it over there as well. And if you want to, you can blow this map up. But let's say I wanted to talk to uh, right around Florida right there. Bada boom, bada beam. Now one thing about the point and shoot. When you adjust it for point and shoot. 
see the little lights red can't tell it in the camera now it's kind of turning amber and there it's green that means it's good and you can't you can't do anything until that brake releases so once the brake releases then you can point and shoot again See, like right here, if I want to want to go somewhere else, won't do anything until it's done. But if you want to release it and manually do it, you can turn it, and then you can also turn it the other way. What's nice about that is. Your finger slips off the brake while you're still turning it. It won't apply the brake. Oops. So I'm going to set this back to north. Park my rotor at north. That's going to show it right there where it's going. It's also moving on that little dial. Moving on that dial. How about that? Shoot right over. Uh, it moved just a little bit whenever the brake kicked in. But you see where it's pointing over the top? And where it's coming down at, right over in India. That's my halfway point from here. If I wanted to talk to India, I'd have to shoot over the top and come down the other side. There is no shooting straight across like that. That's the way the curvature of Earth is. Say I, talk, I want to talk to the guys down in Australia. Double click it. Watch where that thing points. Almost straight west to hit Australia. The way it curves down. Amazing. Anyway, that's it. I'll bring this to the Lima Alpha break for you, Brian. Another shot of my card. How about that? Pretty nice, huh? Later.